Okay, ambition I know now is a, it's a characteristic, it's not a learned behavior, it's an observation. It's my espresso, it's my shot, it's my drug, it's what gets me up in the morning, it's my curiosity. Ultimately, it's what leads to progression. I truly believe that I can, you know, with, with focus, make reality my life. In the process, you know, helping people, being grateful and, and adding value to their lives. Fortunately, for, for me, it came through fitness and health and nutrition. Um, as a personal trainer, you know, I was fed up with the service, so it was way too overpriced. For me, it was a necessity. I was 18, 19 years old, and going through nutrition was such a roller coaster. For me, training was the easy part. So as a personal trainer, I built up my client base, and I realized that it was a necessity for me to be involved in their life in every aspect. And I realized that training was the easy part, man. It was, came down to nutrition, you know, and for me, it was a debacle. I struggled with so much myself, and I realized that there was no way I had to sit down with everyone and speak to them about what worked for their lifestyle and their preferences. And we do that through macronutrient based planning. When I was selling diet plans, we're trying to get people off diet plans. And it's our job to figure that out for people. I'd go out, have pizza, jump on that scale and destroy myself. I, I, I was thinking, I'm like, what am I going to do to get people to really, you know, look forward to assessing themselves with statistical evidence, factual evidence, not hocus pocus. When I was working as a personal trainer, I came across a company called InBody. It came with a machine, you jumped on it, it scanned your, your document and everything came up from your skeletal muscle mass to your body fat percentage to your BMR. At the end of the day, I realized that everyone needed their own blueprint, man. It came into their training, their nutrition and their supplementation and also their psychology. We're here to provide that blueprint for everyone. The joy of seeing people progress. And I can't tell you, I mean, I wouldn't be here without my clients. I tell my clients everything. If a diet is a diet, meaning that you expect it to be over and it's not sustainable, you're never going to succeed. The thing is also is that uh, building a community where people actually want other people to succeed and move for each other. You know, we, we, we train people that are 18, 19, 20, to, to 40, 50, 60, 70, it doesn't really matter. We're all, we're all in this game together. And that's, that's, that's the most important thing at the end of the day. I was at the gym because I wasn't confident. And now I go to the gym and everyone pretends like they're confident. So, <laughs> we're all chasing the same thing. I think humans think that other humans are so different. We just want to be healthy. We want to do bomb shit. We want to look cool. Right, we want to feel like we're accepted, right? And at the end of the day, the goal is to make your perception of yourself a higher expectation for yourself. Look, as a personal trainer, I've heard every excuse in the book. I don't have the time, I don't have this, I don't have that, the food's too expensive. You know, the greatest investment you can make is in yourself. I think that if something's important enough for you, you'll ultimately make the effort to, to make it happen at whatever cost. I've, I've had clients that have gone through hell and back, but haven't you know, negotiated with their training. Like their training has been so consistent since day one. I realized that accountability was the most important thing and that you needed people around you that held you accountable. Thankfully, thankfully for me, with all my clients, they're like, you know, what's going on, man? Like, how's your training? How's your nutrition been? You know, I think that pressure is amazing because pressure makes you perform. Ultimately for me, the love for ambition came from the byproduct of the love for myself. You know, I feel like the moment that I stopped giving a shit about what people thought, of what bike that guy was on and the moment that I accepted my situation I became fearless I was like you know what I'm just gonna go all in on my on my ship and that's exactly what I feel like you know made me the person that I am today so stop thinking stop guessing stop asking maybe this maybe that there's no maybe it's always a yes 442 parameter at Petersham right come hit us up start your mission at ambition make that choice man you always regret it if you don't